Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my Spring Makeup Sundays series. Today I wanted to do a makeup look that is similar to what I just posted on my Instagram. A lot of you guys actually liked it. It was really simple. I think I'm just gonna call it like a strawberry themed makeup look because it kind of is like strawberry raspberry color. And I'm just gonna stick with the fruit theme since I did a peach one last week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably the last spring makeup look in the series that I will be posting. By the way, it's hailing right now. So if you hear that in the background, it's like massive hail pellets are coming down right now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you as always for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. I am just like desperately trying to stay afloat this week. This week has been so crazy. Work has been crazy. I have a midterm that I need to do. Um, the long weekend's coming up, so I need to get ready for that. And it's just, ugh, it's been such a week. But I'm in one of my new sweaters that I made. Um, I don't know if you guys remember from, or if you saw it in my last video, but I started a kind of sweater, like I crochet sweaters now. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it, try and remember to leave it down below. It's just stitched by Chris, but I made this one and I really, really love it because it has forget-me-nots on it and they are the symbol for dementia and I'm donating 25% of each of my sales to the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. So I thought it was perfect to design something that had the flowers on it. And anyways, I really love it. So that's why I'm wearing it today. And I'm gonna start off with applying some concealer under my eyes. I had to keep this makeup look really short and simple and sweet because I honestly just, I, I just don't have time today. It's, ah, it's been such a tough week. I just took on, I think, too much for myself and I am drowning a little bit. You know, I don't know, you probably, you guys probably know what I mean. Like when you're just, you've got too much going on and you took on too much and you can't stay afloat. So then I think I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm just gonna use my Rimmel Stick Bronzer as per usual. Just kind of apply that there. Also, I think I took on too many orders for my crocheting project. It's kind of just like a passion project for me, but um, yeah, I think I like accepted too many orders and now I'm like behind on everything. I haven't been able to just like sit and crochet in the evening so I just fell super far behind. So after the bronzer I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is the Sweet Cheeks blush from NYX. I love love this formula. This isn't Coralicious but it really isn't so corally. It's kind of like raspberry red, I guess. It's pretty intense. I was actually wearing it in that Instagram post. It's like super intense and pink, but I really, really like it. I just think it's very pretty and fresh for the springtime. And I actually think it will work all the way into summer as well, because it is a bit of a deeper shade. So once I get my tan coming through, more I will match this color more but I'm also gonna just pull up whatever was left on the brush towards my like brow bone here as well just to kind of add more of that pink I know it looks crazy right now but I think once I add the powder and it kind of settles into my skin a bit it's going to tone down slightly for powder I'm gonna use my Rimmel stay matte powder which I'm like almost finished so close and I want to apply it pretty much on the areas where I applied the concealer. So under my eyes, around my mouth area, around my nose, forehead. I don't know if you can already tell, but I feel like the blush is already toned down quite a bit. So then I'm going to spritz my face with my Lasting Fix Setting Spray from Maybelline. Then while this is drying, I'll just zoom you guys up. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I already did my brows, um, so I'm not gonna bother with those. We'll just do the eyes. 
lips and we're done. It's just like the fastest makeup look in existence. So for the eyes, I'm actually going to take Prickly Poppy from ColourPop. It's one of their cream shadows and it has a little bit of, it's brown, but it has a little bit of gold flecks in it. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this really close, well, as close as I can to my lash line. And then I'm just gonna blend it outwards. I didn't actually wear this one in the Instagram pic. It's kind of the same, like you can just use any shade of like brown and apply it really close to your lash line. I think in that pic I actually just used eyeliner, like like brown eyeliner. I'm pretty sure that's all I used. You can also just do that because it's probably quicker, even quicker than this. Then I'm gonna take this like kind of blending brush um, and just smooth out the edges here. Sweep whatever was left on this brush that I used uh, to blend it out into the crease. I'm just gonna apply this to the lower lash line. And then some brown eyeliner. The usual, I don't know if I ever mentioned which eyeliner I'm using, but this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama, I think it's called. Yeah, Lasting Drama Waterproof Brown Liner in the shade Glazed Toffee. I'm gonna take a smudger brush and just smudge out the liner a little bit so it's not quite as harsh or jagged. I want it to kind of be soft soft deepening of my lash line and like I said you could just skip the brown shadow on the lid and just go in with this liner and smudge it out I've been doing that lately um, when I just have to like put on a little bit of makeup for a meeting or something my eyes are different shapes um, I've especially noticed it as I'm getting older that my eyes are different sizes which is kind of annoying but I'm just like trying to work out how to make them like more even and then I'm going to curl my lashes apply some mascara and that's pretty much it lipstick we are done eyes are done super simple super easy and lips are next we are gonna use the wet and wild cloud pout marshmallow lip mousse in the shade fluff you this is what I was wearing I think in that video. Well, I'm pretty sure it was. It's coming off a lot brighter on camera than it is in person. It's actually very muted and it's kind of like a very soft pink. It really does remind me of like a berry, like a strawberry or a raspberry. And that completes the look. That sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I hope it's really showing off like how pinky and soft it is. I don't know if I'm gonna call it strawberry now that I think about it because I'm not quite sure it's showing up like strawberry like on camera but it has been one of my go-to looks lately i really love this lipstick it's so beautiful i love this blush corelicious is amazing the formula is great and i love prickly poppy from ColourPop. i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that it's kind of rushed and that i am kind of rushing through a lot of my videos lately i'm really sorry about that i think things will calm down next month hopefully like june will be a bit better i will be almost on my course by then so we'll see we'll see how it goes thank you guys as always for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.